In the Carolina kitchen today, a blend of fresh herbs and seasonings make this salad idea super special. It's couscous, and it's a great idea for satisfying everyone. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Executive Chef Sean Ruddy with the High Hampton Inn and Country Club is back with us. And you were doing something vegetarian that, again, could be very versatile. Yes, this is a, today it's a couscous salad. Uh, I'm using Israeli couscous, which is a little uh, larger than the other couscous that you see a lot of times in the couscous grocery store. Couscous kind of scares some people. It kind of scares yeah. me. Is it easy to it, prepare? It is easy. Uh, actually, you know, when you cook it, you basically just want to bring it up to a boil and then turn it off and cover it and just let it absorb the water. Just like rice. Strain it in a strainer and add a little bit of olive oil to it. And that keeps it from sticking together. Okay. So basically, uh, get my pan hot and take a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and some uh, diced red onion. And we're just going to soften up some of these veggies for the salad. A um, little roasted red pepper. Which you can now buy easily in a can. You or can. A jar. This is actually out of a can. So. Oh, well, there you go. So you don't have to roast them on an open flame by yourself. Which or is easy, them. easy to do. You just roast them on an open flame, put them in a bowl, cover it with saran wrap, and then you can just peel the peels right off of it. Unless you have an electric oven like me. Right. And that open flame <laughs> kind of gets difficult to find. Especially in the wintertime. You can't do it on your grill <laughs> That's outside. Right. So I'm just going to soften these veggies up a little bit. And then I've taken the couscous, which I've already cooked, okay. drained, and uh, just toss in a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to put that in a little mixing bowl. And do you want that to be hot or cold? This is cold, so the I salad is cold. So okay. you can make this actually ahead of time, refrigerate it. Okay, and then we're going to add in these veggies to it. And give it some good color with that roasted exactly. red pepper. Exactly. Now there's some olive oil in here already, so I'm not going to add much more olive oil to the dish itself. Okay. But I will add a little bit in there. So just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. And you can find couscous at your regular grocery store. You now. can, yeah. Especially, uh, you know, most of the stores are carrying all the different kinds. Some of them have different colors, too, so you want to do something more colorful. Fresh parsley and some fresh lemon juice. And then we're just going to toss this all together. How long does couscous take to cook typically? Uh, about five minutes. That's it. So yeah, this is going to come quick. together very fast. Real quick, yeah. Just make sure, you know, you get your water boiling, add it in there, then just cover it and turn it off. Talk to me about the health benefits of couscous. Is it good for you? Yeah, sure. It's, well, it's made with semolina wheat, so it's, you know, it's basically a pasta. Okay. So it's what you add into it. It's going to make it good. It's going to taste a little bit different. Right. All right. Well, that was easy enough. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. The finished product. Look at that beautiful side dish. Very easy to put together. You can do the whole thing in, what, 10 minutes yeah, probably? About 10 or 15 minutes. Sure. All right. Sounds fantastic. And that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.